Hey, welcome into Geonadir. My name is Paul. I am one of the co-founders here and I am looking forward to taking you through getting the most out of being able to manage, process, analyze and share and collaborate on your drone mapping data. Let's get started. Alrighty, Geonadir is built on a workspace platform. So what this means is that you have a workspace where you can invite other people in to all collaborate and use the data and you can choose the permissions of what people can share. Inside that workspace, you have your own data sets and those data sets is what you upload at raw imagery for us to process into an author mosaic, a digital surface and digital terrain models. We accept RGB, thermal and multispectral data. You can choose to keep this data private to your workspace or to share it to the global map. Once you've uploaded your data, then you use it inside a project. And projects is where you can add multiple data sets so you can do time series analysis. And it's also where you get access to all of our GIS-like tools to start to segment and measure your data. So let's have a look at what we've got here. So we've got one data set in here. I could add more if I like. And we've started to segment this data using our points, lines, and polygons, as you have in most GIS tools. From here, we can start to see that we've created uh, 14 polygons around all of the houses. And we can start to see the area. We've got one around the mangroves here dead mangroves and that there has measured it out at just over 3,000 square meters. So we can measure area, we can also measure volume and lengths. We can also use our Geo AI tools to make it faster to auto segment any of your features that you've got within your data sets. Up here we can also add new drone mapping data. We can search existing drone data that you might have in your workspace already, or maybe to add some from the global map. We can also add photos as points. These are those oblique photos that you might take on site to add a bit more context. And as you upload them here, then they start to appear where they were taken from on your map. We can also import vectors. These vectors you might have created in another GIS. And any vectors that you create, you can also export as well. You'll find all of our tools here in the toolbox. You'll notice that some of the tools have a yellow crown. These here are features that are only available in our paid subscriptions. You can also add some enhancements to your drone mapping data, like enhancing contrast or layering over a greenness index. When you've got multiple data sets of uh, different times, you can also compare those layers uh, to be able to see what's changed or add a detect change layer. You'll also see here that we've got tools like Terrain Profile to be able to measure that profile across this beach area here, for instance, and other 3D tools like our volumetric measurement. Now, drone mapping doesn't happen in isolation, which is why we've built as a collaborative tool, built these as collaborative tools. So up here you can share, all right, and you can add in anyone's email address, and then you can choose whether you want people to view, only be able to comment on, or have edit access rights to this project. Or maybe you also want to invite them into your entire workspace so they can see all your data sets and all of your projects. So this here is a very quick overview of Geonadir. We've got lots of help articles to get you started. And if you ever need any support, just reach out to us uh, at, at hello at geonadir.com or you can message us in our intercom message bot down the bottom here. Fantastic, thank you so much and all the best getting started with Geonadir. If you need any help, please reach out. Bye.